and welcome back to Looking for Adventure and I would first like to say I am so 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 sorry that I did not get to post the last two weeks. I was hoping it was only going to be a week but it ended up being two weeks but I have been working really 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 extra super duper hard to film and edit all the tutorials in advance so I can bring you guys awesome 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 videos every single day of the week except for Tuesdays but we have an awesome month planned I know we actually have a month planned out in advance for you guys but today is mixed media Monday and it is one of my favorite days of the week and we are making a Mother's Day mixed media piece but before I continue and talk about this with you guys I would first like to say mom I know you are watching please turn off this video because you do not get to ruin your Mother's Day surprise and that goes for when Wednesday as well because we're making a matching Mother's Day card. So goodbye. I will give you a second to turn off the video and then we all can continue with the rest of us. Okay, so I would first like to say that originally when I filmed this, I was actually filming a different piece and I ended up posting it next week, but um, I had a lot of trouble making the piece that I wanted to make originally. So I scrapped that idea completely temporarily and I came up with this idea and it is a clock, a distress clock from Prima and I made it a sewing Mother's Day theme because my mom personally absolutely loves to sew and she quilts and she grew up making all my ice skating costumes from scratch and they are just mind-blowing and amazing so I figured that I would do a Mother's Day clock for her and give it kind of down-home sort of country feel very vintage and I absolutely love this piece I did show you guys this clock way back when sometime like eight months ago in the Prima Outlet haul video and so I finally get to use it and I had so much fun making this. I think it is really, really, really cute and I just want to make sure that I let you guys know to like, comment, and subscribe for all the daily updates. Please leave a comment down below there uh, for anything that you liked in this video, anything you didn't like in this video, anything that you guys want to see me do in upcoming weeks. I would absolutely love to know your feedback and if you guys have to make anything like this or inspired by a video that I've done please email me Facebook it to me Twitter it to me definitely tag me on Instagram I want to see everything that you guys create and I am going to play some music I'm going to speed up the video I'm going to talk you guys through step by step but before I do let's take a first look So here is the Prima clock and I've already taken out the back piece of it and I really think that the coloring and the rust and the distressing on it is already beautiful so I didn't really actually want to cover it up for this project in particular so I just decided to take my soft matte gel also by Prima and my mica powder in the color rust and mix that all together and then just kind of put it on certain areas to sort of emphasize and add a little bit of a punch to the color um, but I, I really wanted to let a lot of what they had already done show through. Don't forget guys that I will leave links to all the products that I have used in this video down in the description box below so if you guys want to recreate this or get one or two of the products that you find really interesting or anything like that I will have all the links to all the products down in the description box below so do make sure that you go and check that out. So now I'm starting to figure out the layout for the back piece which will be my center and I found this super cute uh, sheep embellishment and so I decided that I should use that because my mom does collect sheep and I thought that it would be really cute. And then this frame was actually a wooden frame that came in a set that you can get. I got this at Scrapbooking Made Simple but it's made by Do Crafts and I have quite a few things from them now. I love these pieces. And I'm just going to take my Wink of Luna pen in blue, which is like a soft metallic shimmer, and just color up the frame. And then I'm going to go back in with my faded jeans distress ink and kind of highlight and hit all the edges on it to give it a little more 
rustic and sort of grungy feel to it because it's a little too clean looking right now. And then I found that fabric lace doily from a random set that I got at Michael's. It was like a random kit from Remembrance or something like that. And uh, I thought that that would be a great centerpiece for it. I did try and distress ink one side of it and it just looked messy. So uh, I decided to use the white side for the finished product. And then I'm going to take my zip dry and just glue the embellishment on and then I will fill in the entire center to sort of make it look more like a uh, like a picture, I guess, um, like it has glass in front of it with my really beautiful glossy accents. I love glossy accents, they're so useful and helpful and everything. But before I do that, um, <laughs> I am going to put some of my Distress Crackle so I can let it dry uh, just on certain areas of the clock again. I really just kind of want to add a little more of that grungy texture where I've already put the Rust uh, Mica Powder Soft Matte Gel Paste. So while that's drying, I am, like I said, going to go in with my glossy accents and I'm going to fill the entire thing all the way up to the top of the frame with this. So you want to work really, really slowly and in very fluid motions or else you'll get a lot of air bubbles that will show. So I only had a few and they tended to be only at the edges. Uh, other than that, it was clear, but you really just want to set that aside to dry because it's going to take a long, long time to dry and then I'm going back in with my zip dry glue, which I have to say is my new favorite glue. It's clear, it dries really fast, and it's very flexible. And I'm just gonna put that lace uh, fabric doily down. Now I'm going to take my 3D gel, and this I think is my gloss gel, it doesn't really matter, it's not gonna show. And I'm going to stick that in so I can hold the measuring tape. It's gonna kinda wind around on the inside and then sort of spill out to the outside of the clock. But I really didn't wanna use um, hot glue for it. I, I find that the modeling paste and the 3D gels, they dry like concrete when, uh, when, when they're finally dry and they do have some uh, playtime and they're very flexible because they do take a little longer before they, they set up but um, I will go in later with my hot glue gun for everything else but that I wanted to be solid and then I made this cute little bow just out of some lace to put on the top and I'm using my zip dry to kind of just wave the lace and give it a little bit of a dimension on top but I thought that that was just really cute and to kind of tie it all together and, and finish it off. So here, as you can see, I'm just adding some clothespins, I don't know why, out on a whim to the doily. I just thought that it would give it a little extra oomph and a few more embellishments so it wasn't quite so bare in the background. And uh, I think that that's super cute. And then I decided to cut up some cardboard. It will be what I use for uh, propping the embellishments up. You won't see it though because I'm going to put flowers over them. And then I have this cute cardboard heart. You can always cut one out of cardboard. And I'm ripping off the top layer to show the corrugation. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite, favorite colors which are tea dye, brush corduroy, vintage photo, and walnut stain to just give it some emphasis. I did for the sewing machine embellishment and the scissor embellishment already color them. Like I said, I tried some stuff out for the canvas that uh, we're going to end up posting next week, but I just went in with my uh, Winkle Luna pen and silver for the sewing machine with some black soot around the edges and then my gold Winkle Luna for the scissors and then I went in with some uh, brush corduroy around the edges and uh, a vintage photo to kind of sort of tone that down as well. And then I'm just gluing the cardboard pieces together uh, with the 3D matte gel and then I'm using the zip dry to kind of attach everything onto itself. So I'm putting the frame down right in the center. I think that's super cute. My glossy accents is all dry now and that means that I can finally pop that frame back in and I can start working on everything. I tried really hard at this point guys to kind of prop up the clock so you could see it. I wish I had a camera over my shoulder. It would have been a lot easier because when I went to go lean it back so the camera could see it, I couldn't see it. So I'm gonna have to just kind of talk you through a lot of these steps. But I wanted to put the corrugated heart kind of up and above everything else and in the back corner there. And I used my zip dry for that, but I kind of ended up 
switching over to my hot glue gun for everything. I don't tend to like to use a hot glue gun, but it's kind of become my new favorite thing. It's fast and it sets up really fast so I know that it's nice and sturdy. I'm now adding in the, um, the sewing machine and I did use my hot glue gun to adhere that down in there. And it's up on three pieces of cardboard. And now I'm just starting to wrap the measuring tape around and hot gluing the areas that I wanted to kind of have showing and where they were and hold them down and everything because I kind of wanted it like it was curled around in loops and loops and loops and then sort of coming and flowing and cascading out and where I cut off the end it'll be hidden because there'll be a giant cascade of flowers around it. Um, but that's all I'm doing right now. Again, I'm really sorry that you can't see the footage. Uh, it was really hard to try and film up so you guys could see it and have me see it. Again, I wish I had something that was uh, an over-the-shoulder camera, maybe one day. Um, so I'm just clipping that end and that's what it looks like. And then I'm adding in the cute little uh, stand. I remember my mom always using a dress form to make all my skating costumes. So uh, this is a resin piece made by Prima and I think that it's really, really pretty. I just used a little bit of vintage photo that was left over on the pad to kind of add a little bit of color to it and give it a little bit of a grungy feel as well. And I'm propping it up again on three layers of cardboard. I will probably put in some pieces around the side, kind of make sure that you hold it, because do remember the clock surface is not flat, so you may need four on one section and three on another to kind of balance it out and make it stand up straight. Uh, in hindsight, I do wish, which you'll see coming up soon, I end up adding some cute little buttons as embellishments around the inside of the clock and everything, and I wish I had added those before I had put this whole clock together. It was really hard to get my hands in there and everything, but I just didn't know where I wanted to put them until I saw the whole finished piece. I don't know if any of you guys are are like that as well where you just kind of create and go you don't really have a plan uh, let me know in the comments below if that's the kind of person that you are if you just create on a whim or if you have everything planned out step by step uh, but here I'm just gluing some beautiful flowers I had these really pretty purple flowers from Prima and then these gorgeous sort of daisy sunflower looking ones that I'm not quite sure where I got them from probably Prima 99 point 9% of all my flowers are from Prima and then the cute little white ones that I had gotten at the outlet sale as well. Oh, I also got the uh, the purpley white blue ones at the outlet as as well. And then the metal flower is from the Finnevere like metal, um, I guess, pieces that they have as well from Prima. So this is a very, very, very Prima type video today. And I'm just taking some of the extra flowers and I'm just going to kind of glue them around on the inside and cover up the cardboard and kind of help make it look like the flowers are cascading from the inside out and around the clock. So that's that's all it is. Um, pretty quick and simple. This was actually a really really fast project. It only took me I think about two hours and that includes all the dry time. So that was uh, great. Um, I absolutely love doing this. I think it was really cute. I hope my mom likes it for Mother's Day. And then I'm just gonna put the scissors up in the top corner. I wasn't sure why I wanted to put them till the very end, but I like them there. And now I'm just taking some blue buttons and some white buttons and scattering them around. I'm taking some bigger white buttons and putting the little tiny blue buttons on top of it for dimension. But I'm just gonna kind of place them on some of the embellishments on the inside like the heart and the sewing machine and the dress form and then of course scattered around the entire back uh, piece of it and that's it I, it's that simple so I hope that you guys really really like this video I sure did uh, let me know what you think I think it's really cute I would love to see what you guys are making for your mothers for Mother's Day um, so make sure that you tag in me on Instagram or send me emails or anything like that I love all that kind of stuff and I'll just wrap it up with the final photos and thanks for watching.
I actually originally had an altered clock that I was going to use for something else, but I just... Mm. Hey guys, welcome back. I... What? what did I say before? I liked her and today is Mix It Up Monday, but I... Mm. Order, order, order. I need to get the order of things correctly. Okay. Ugh. I will make sure to give you guys a first look. Then, then, then I'm going to take a breath. Breathe! I need a giant word that says breathe. Um, and that includes when they... When... when down, crack my neck. Getting the nerves out. 